Greetings, Bill Nye here. As you can see, I'm walking and talking, but not everyone can do this so easily. They have ataxia. And today, we're gonna talk about a particularly troublesome form of ataxia called Friedrich ataxia. Let's head in. <laughs> After its discovery in 1863 by Nicholas Friedrich, researchers have carried his name forward, trying to make sense of it all. Their scientific curiosity led to scientific discovery. Now, speaking of curiosity, what was that password? Oh. <laughs> it's, it's pie. Get it? Like pie. Mmm, lemon meringue. 3.14159265. Some other digits. Pull up to the lab. It's been a minute. The science guy's back with a special mission. Freedy Kataxi, it's a rare disease. If you think that's you, let's get up to speed. Back in the lab. Back in the lab. Back in the lab with Bill Nye. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi. A taxi has always been close to my heart. Actually, uh, my brain. <laughs> A version of ataxia runs in my family. <laughs> and these days, there's a whole field of research on another type called Friedrich ataxia. Let's check in with a fellow researcher. Oh, hi, Bill. Hey, Christian, how's it going? Good. Lately, I've been studying a mitochondrial protein called protaxin. Those mitochondria, what powerhouses. Okay, thanks, Christian. You're welcome. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Not having proteins working properly can be serious biz. <sighs> you see these guys? These are nucleotides, guanine and adenine. They make up the GAA triplet that contributes to frataxin production. We're gonna need to look closer, much closer. Friedrich ataxia is caused by a mutation in the gene that creates frataxin. Hi, Bill. Hey, Bill. A DNA sequence called Hi, the GAA triplet repeats way more than it should, impacting frataxin production. Hi, Bill. Frataxin helps create energy, and without it, it can lead to all kinds of trouble. You may notice symptoms like frequent falls, clumsiness, tiredness, and slurred speech. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. We're gonna need more Botox. Sometimes ataxias can be mistaken for other conditions or misunderstood completely. Thankfully, these days, we can know if someone has Friedrich ataxia by doing a specific genetic test. Hi, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. The Friedrich ataxia mutation can be passed down through generations. It needs to come from both your mom and dad. And even if they don't ever have symptoms, you can still carry the affected gene. Thanks a lot, guys. So if you're experiencing symptoms of Friedrich ataxia, like falling down a lot, no. struggling with your speech, or just feeling clumsy, ask your doctor about a genetic test because the Curiosity Cab is ready for its next stop. <laughs> Don't wait, the time is crucial. Hi, Bill! Bye, Bill. Maybe coming, Mark? Oh, ah. Still fresh. Still hilarious. And today, we're gonna talk about a particularly troublesome form of ataxia called, <laughs> let's hit, let's reset. Christian. Yeah, it's Bill. I'm at the end of the lab bench. Well, I'm actually, wait. runs in my family. Friedrich ataxia. Oh. I, I, meant, I meant to do that. And then we cut. Pretty soon we're gonna say cut. <laughs>